run through it basically. Uh, there are no special settings on the inverter for it to go into islanding mode. Like I said, you will require a battery. So the inverter will require a battery during that time. If you do have PV on the system, that will fall away without a battery. So if grid falls away, the inverter will no longer be able to use the PV in islanding mode. Without the grid, if the inverter is still in normal and there's battery supply, it can still use the PV to power the loads as well. So you won't just rely fully on the battery during that time period. Whatever PV is available during the day will be able to power a load during that time period as well. It's a very simple setup. We split, like I said, non-essentials, your bigger geysers, etc., you know, water boilers or whatever you have, cooling systems will fall onto your non-essentials. Your essentials will in entail, you know, anything that you really require, like I said, lighting, Wi-Fi, computers during that time. It's a very simple process to split your DB, make sure that your fusing is all in place and correct, and uh, the inverter will basically take over during that time. When the grid falls away, it will just start powering your load. Um, so yeah, it's a quite a, a nifty feature with the SunSync inverter and something we really do take advantage of in a country where we can not rely on our grid fully. So as we see it across the world, you know, I hope this helps uh, in you understanding that the inverter can, you know, island mode and make sure that you are able to power an essentials grid, well, essentials load when the grid has fallen away. So yeah, we'll be back with more videos shortly, but uh, yeah, great to see from you all today and uh, enjoy guys, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now, bye.